here at Purpose Driven Chiropractic. I am here with the lovely Rebecca. Hello. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, she you. is here to share her story about her son, Benjamin. It is a wonderful, inspiring story that I have had the privilege of hearing. So, yeah. without further ado. I know. So, yeah. Where do I start? So, so um, let me ask you the first question sure. here. Um, what led you to seek out our office in the first place? So, talking to a friend um, at church, we were kind of just sharing struggles with our kids, and I just mentioned just this anxiety that uh, Benjamin was dealing with, and it was starting to become just crippling for our family. Um, little examples, like I would be working together, doing homework or something, and then I'd walk out of the room to put clothes in the dryer or to go to the bathroom, and he'd realize I was gone and just start, like, yelling for me, like, in a panic, just... So it made it really hard to do anything, and uh, it just after months of this, I just found my patience just kind of wearing thin, like, what do we do about this? And other behaviors, too, like if we did sort of force him or if he agreed to do something he wasn't really comfortable with, he'd have to go to the bathroom every few minutes. Okay. Like, I remember dropping him off, at there. he was in this, like... Um, this camp, I was at a training and he was in a kid's camp and he went to the bathroom like 15 times in an hour just okay. because that was his way of like trying to, to be in control of the situation. Yes, so um, not good for him, not good for us. Um, he was really sensitive to the touch too. Like I remember trying to brush his hair out and he would yell because he said it hurt, that kind of thing. So just not himself, mm -hmm. and again, sharing this story with a friend, and she said she had brought her son here and had um, wonderful results awesome. with the chiropractic treatment here at PDC. So we were, we were kind of at our wit's end. You know, we kind of tried um, being as gentle and loving and doing all the things you know, we thought we could do, and just nothing. You know, tough love, yeah. overly you know, protecting him, and just it, was, it seemed like the more we tried to... Um, comfort him and it just seemed like it, it was getting worse so um, and this was an everyday every, every it was constant. like hourly I mean it was like it wasn't as though and even you think like oh we can distract him with something he really likes but it, it was very short-lived whatever it was like if you got to watch a, a video or something right yeah he would you know I still would have to be there with him he yeah. wouldn't like it if I left the room so Needless to say, date nights went out the window and, you know, anything just... So just started trickling throughout it just, different parts of your life. just started affecting every, the whole family. It really was affecting the whole family. And uh, so after shortly, I mean, I'm trying to think of the time frame exactly, but certainly within a few months, our treatment, I think we started Benjamin, was it the end of the year? I'm trying to think. It was close to, it was close to December. Yeah, I should remember if it was November, December, and... Um, Certainly within, you know, 60, 90 days. I mean, it was like we were we got our kid back, which was great. And now he's confident and sassy and, you know, and just, uh, I have to look for him now. Yeah. I mean, he's back to where he was, um, you know, he always has been my easier kid. Um, <laughs> right? He just kind of likes to fly under the radar, that kid. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he's climbing trees again and he's off, you know, on the acres just yeah. doing his thing. And... So that's just so, it's so wonderful to have him back, yeah. really. And just it's to restore incredible. the sanity to our family. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible to have been a part of this journey, too, with you. Because I saw him when you first started here, and it was, he wanted nothing to do with any of us. He didn't right. want to talk to any of no, us, right? nothing. And now he's just, he just goes. He just right? goes where he's in and he's in the office. I would come in for a scan, and he'd have to come in with me. Right? How how great is your scan when you've got your you know seven year old in there with you? Right? You're just yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, I go. <laughs> right? Watch my blood pressure, you know. So yeah, it's just completely different. We couldn't come in and have him just be here quietly and doing his thing. He just had to be with uh, usually with me, but he would be you know with his dad too, and it was just yeah, night and day, awesome. night and day. So we are grateful. Right. Well, my last question that I do have for you, if you were to meet somebody that had these very same struggles day to day with their children, what would you want them to know? What would you tell them? Uh, we want to know that there's, there's hope. There's, this isn't something you have to live with. Um, we, Like I said, we got results pretty quickly with Benjamin. And 
Um, we already have like a clean diet and those kind of things. I mean, we, we've tried to eliminate all of the, the things that we could, and then we got to a point where nothing was really making a difference. So our treatment here at PDC has made that difference. He's definitely um, the confident, uh, independent little boy that he should be at seven, yeah. right? So awesome. no, we definitely would recommend it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Glad this to share. Story yeah. inspires and uh, lets people know that there is hope out there and there's there's a way to get your child back if you have had any struggles or anything like that. There's hope. So. Yes, there is. Thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, thank you.